Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and I am a bit of a collector and hoarder of makeup. So to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I sit down, film some content and share my honest opinions with y'all. Now you probably have noticed if you've watched a few of my videos and you've been subscribed to my channel that I started my intro out just a little bit differently today. And that's because one, I'm petty, two, I'm sassy and honestly, I think it's important to share that if I'm gonna get on here, right, I'm obviously a very small, 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 itty bitty channel because I've only really just started. But I think it's important if you're gonna sit down and talk about products and you're gonna make recommendations to people, I think it's very important to be honest with your following, your subscribers, or anyone who is listening to you. So um, if you spent any time on the internet today, for y'all, this is gonna be yesterday, um, you, you would notice there's some obvious lying going around when it comes to people being sponsored by people or just, I mean, lying for the clout, I guess, lying for the money. And the thing is, I want to sit down and say this before I get into my video today. Um, I will never lie to anybody on when it comes to products, whether it comes to makeup, lifestyle, or anything I talk about, because I don't need to lie. Okay, I'm not here. Obviously, I'm not getting paid. Okay, I have a very small following. Um, there's no reason for me to lie. So I want you to remember that when you're watching my videos and even down the road, you can hold me accountable because I am not going to lie when it comes to product recommendations, unlike a lot of people out here. All right. So now that I've got my sassy little comment out, today I'm going to be sharing my favorite kind of like a current favorite list of my eye products. I kind of already did this with my face products. I did like a basic bitch base fave favorites. I'll go ahead and put like a card and a link in the description below to that video if it sounds interesting to you. But if you want to know my favorite eye products currently, then go ahead and sit back and let's get into it. All right, I'm going to kind of separate this out. I'm going to start off with like the nude eyeshadow palettes. I'm usually not a nude eyeshadow kind of girl, but depending on the situation, the occasion, and where I'm going to be and who I'm going to be around, sometimes you need that nude eyeshadow palette. Now this first one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is a release from last summer. Now this product, I am surprised on how much I use this eyeshadow palette, to be quite honest. This is the Nueve palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This does retail for $55. So you do get 12 shades. Three of those are going to be mattes. And then on top of those three mattes, two mattes will have like a little bit of a sparkle reflect in them. Honestly though, when you blend it out, that reflect really isn't there. And that doesn't bother me. Then you get five metallics and then two metallics with like a duochrome reflect in them. So the reason like this palette is in here because I actually reached for this more than I ever expected. The formula is amazing. It is way better than the previous Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes like the Modern Renaissance or like any in that like kind of like velvet touch packaging. This definitely blows those palettes out of the water. Um, now this palette is a mixture of eyeshadows and pressed pigments and I just want to like let y'all know that. But this palette also gives me like that 90s grunge vibe, which is probably why I really like it. But like the greens in here are gorgeous. Like you've got like this like beautiful like matte, like almost camo army green in here, which is like my go-to shade when I open up this palette. But then you have like this green here with like a duochrome shift in it. It's gorgeous. So I love this palette and it is absolutely one of my favorites right now. But this palette, like it's got that grunge vibe, like I said earlier. Then it also is easy to do like an everyday look, but then you can kind of turn it glam. So all those shimmers and metallics, you can just like pop on and then all of a sudden you're a different person and you're ready to go out. Now this next palette is actually surprisingly another newer launch. And when I say newer, I mean within like the last year. Um, I know beauty products like age quickly when it comes with trends, but this is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palettes. Now this came out like right before Christmas time. I did pick this up in the Sephora sale, like when they had it around that time. So was that Christmas? I can't remember. I honestly don't. 
kids fry your brain sometimes, okay? But this palette does retail for $67. Um, it does have 18 different shades in here. So in those shades, you're gonna have nine mattes, five metallics, and within those five metallics, you're gonna have different formulas, like a creamy, more creamier, more powder, like, and then some of them are kind of like, almost like a wet metallic. And then you have two gel hybrid shadows, and those are gonna be like kind of a cream base. And those gel hybrid shadows work fantastic as like a liner. You can even use them as an eye base. And then just, of course, like a shadow on its own. It does give me like, it does kind of remind me of the Patrick Ta palettes, but it's a little bit of a different formula, but it's kind of the same concept. It's just another one of those palettes that's perfect to go from day to night. You got your nudes in here, but then you got some shimmers to like elevate that look make yourself ready to go out. And it's just like a glam, but neutral and kind of almost like sultry and sexy palette, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's what, it's the way I see it, okay? Now, this is the palette that I actually have on my eyes today. And this is going to be the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Volume 2 palette. So this is the rose one. And I prefer this color story over the first one. The first one's a little bit too brown for me, but this one does have like those pinkier tones. And if I'm gonna reach for a neutral palette, usually I reach for a more pinkier one because it still adds like a little bit of color. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. So this is a $68 palette. It does have 12 shades and then it has five mattes along with three metallics and then two toppers. Now one of these toppers is like a topper and the reflex have like a duochrome shift to it, at least in my opinion. You're not gonna see that in the description on the website or at Sephora. And that's actually the shade I have in the center of my eyelid today. I don't know how well it looks right now because I just spent the last hour and a half outside and it is fucking cold in Houston. My kids had football practice and it was windy. I had like, ooh, my camera, like little thingy be jigger, my memory card. It got full, but hopefully I'm leaving off where I left off, if that makes sense. So I had like two hoodies on. It was just fucking cold, okay? So like the wind was on my face. I kind of tried to touch up some of my makeup, but if it doesn't look perfect, you know what? I'm here. But this is just like another one of those palettes where you can get a beautiful soft glam. You can go from day to night with this palette yet again. And to me, this palette just gives off like sophistication, like a sophisticated look. And I mean, $60, $68 is expensive. And when I purchased this palette, I was like on the fence about it. I mean, I did get it from a gift card, but honestly, it's so worth $68. And I can't wait for Patrick Ta to come out with volume three because I will be purchasing it. Surprisingly, I did pick out, I think so far all the palettes that I'm sharing with you are palettes that are from 2022. And I didn't do that intentionally. It just happened to work out that way. So this next one is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. This one is still got some neutral shades in it, but to me it's a little bit more bold than the previous palettes I showed you. And this is a $69 eyeshadow palette. It does contain 15 shades. Eight of those shades are going to be mattes, along with six metallics that have like a variety of, a variety, oh fuck, I can't even say it, with different textures. And then finally, it does have one duochrome shade, which this duochrome shade, okay, it's in the shade Vision. And it's like, it's almost like oil slick, but like pastel, okay? It is fucking gorgeous, okay? Look at that. If you're gonna pick up a Natasha Denona, this is the palette that you should pick up, in my opinion. So this palette also has the most amazing black that I have ever used in my entire life that is so dark. It's like looking into like a black hole it is the perfect black. It is the, the, the black I want all of my t-shirts to be in and then stay that color. It's fantastic. So it's just another day to night look. Now, personally, I use this more for like a nighttime, like going out date night palette. You still can get like the soft glam, but you can also go sultry with it. And then it's just another one of those palettes that's, it gives you that sophisticated look. All right, we're done with the neutral. Okay, let's play with some color. I'm gonna share my favorite colored palettes now. Now this one is not a 2022 launch. This one I believe is from 2021, maybe? If I'm wrong, roast me, go. So this is Lunar Beauty's Life's a Drag Facelift Palette. 
This palette is perfect for everybody. It does contain 21 shades with 17 of those going to be mattes. You get two metallics, a beautiful topper, and then one satin matte shade. Now, this palette is, like I said, it's for everybody. You can go for the neutral look with a pop of color. You can go bold and completely colorful, full glam, soft glam. Everything is in this palette. And this is like perfect for anybody. Honestly, how could you not say that wouldn't, it's like a perfect beginner's palette as well. Now I understand that this brand just released a new palette. I actually got mine in just a couple days ago. I'm very excited, but I'm not gonna include that one in this video because I haven't had it long enough to say that it is a favorite. But this is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge Palette. This is my favorite palette that Blend Bunny has ever come out with, and I'll show you why. Now this is a $43 palette, but it does contain 30 shades. Look at the neon. Okay, this neon is gorgeous. And four of those neon shades are actually UV reactive. Okay, so you got the yellow, the orange, the pink, and the green, black light. Fucking awesome, right? And then it does contain six cream shimmers. So that is gonna be this row right here, and then the rest of them are mattes. So what I love about this palette is that I can go grungy, which I love a bit of grunge, or I can go neon. I can go like soft with a pop of neon. You could, there's just, the possibilities are endless, okay? It's like Burger King, I'm having it my way, okay? I love this palette. So, sticking with some fun shades. Now, when I first got this palette, okay, I did a full review, and I'll go ahead and put a card, I'll link the video at the bottom. I'm not gonna lie, I was not happy with the product. The product has grown on me, and now I love it, except for a few things in the palette. But, I do love it. So this is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 4 palette, the Transcendence palette. So this palette has a variety of textures, formulas, a bit of everything. And it's a palette that you kind of need, is, it's a palette that you don't just use on its own. So you kind of want to use another palette to go with it. It elevates looks that you, it just kind of helps elevate the other palettes that you, you're using just to bring your look to the next level. Whew, can't get my words out today. So this is an $125 palette. Now, all the products I've shown you so far, you can buy them on everyone, like, you know, the brand's website or Sephora or wherever you can get those brands. This palette is only available at Sephora now. It is limited edition, so it is sold out on Danessa Myrick's website. But if this palette does interest you and you don't have it, it is at Sephora. So like I said, it is $125. It does have 14 shades. Eight of those shades are gonna be the velvet chromes. So you're gonna have four velvet chromes on this row, four velvet chromes on this. There are multi-chrome pigments. I believe these are not shadows and I don't wanna misspeak. You got two glass metallics. We're, they're, they're like toppers. And so I believe this white one here is the glass metallic here. And then also the shade Divinity down here. In that center row, which is my least favorite row of this palette, so you have two aqua chromes, which are going to be water activated liners. So you've got this blue one here and then this purple one over here. And then in the center, you have two pressed chrome flakes. I am not a fan of the pressed chrome flake formula. You have to dig to get those shades out. And then after you get them out, you have to press so hard on your eyeball, it does hurt. And I am a contact wearer, so I'm a little bit sensitive when it comes to those things. So I, I understand that I'm like recommending this palette, but I'm also, I'm just saying that this, these two shades are just not for me, but I do love all the other shades in this palette. I feel like this palette just takes looks to the next level. It, it makes you look bolder. It just elevates it more artistic. Like this palette is fantastic. I can't wait for her to release another palette that just has the velvet chromes. And usually those are like the smaller palettes because I'll definitely be picking it up. Those are all the eyeshadow palettes. Now I wanna talk about different eye products. And the first eye product I wanna to talk to you about is these, these Icy and Sparkle multi-dimensional eye glitters from Give by Gwen Stefani. So these are eyeshadows, that's what it says. I'm not quite sure, but whatever. So these right here, I only have two out of the three. It does come in three different shades and they retail for $24 each. This is actually what I have on my inner corner. 
these look like tiny little diamonds. Like, I love it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you so you can kind of see it. This shade is the shade Twinkle, which kind of has more of a rose gold look to it. And the shade that I actually have on my eye is the shade Glimmer, which is the more gold shade. And that shade, look at that, looks like this. So it just looks like tiny little diamonds. And if you want to make your look look a little bit more bougie, a little bit more glamorous, this is a product for you. Now, if you don't like glitter, this is not going to be a product for you. But if you like that sparkle, you need these in your life. So I have another product from Danessa Myricks. And even though I don't like the pressed chrome flake formula, I do enjoy the infinite chrome flakes from Danessa Myricks. I own five of them. So the shades that I own are the shades Pride, Strobe Light, Laser Beam, Superstar and Sweet Tooth. So I'm gonna take a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and put these on my arm so you can kind of see what the shades I own look like. I went ahead and swatched all four shades. I did use a brush instead of my finger because I still have glitter particles on my finger right here. But I, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So this shade right here is the shade Sweet Tooth. And then underneath is the shade Strobe Light, the shade Superstar, this beautiful oil slick one is the shade Pride. And then finally, the last shade is Laser Beam. I love these. There's people who love them or hate them. There's really no in between. They are a gel chrome flake formula. So I use my finger and then I use a brush for more precise application. I will say when you use your finger, the payoff is way better. But if you want that precise line or precise inner corner a brush is definitely the way to go because you can still get a nice effect with just a brush these do retail for $25 each and if you go on Danessa Myrick's website there is 14 different shades but if you're purchasing it from Sephora for some odd reason there is only 10 but they're just multi chrome flakes in gel and it just elevates your look it's just fun to play with and it's just like it's bold it's beautiful it's multi chromes like Oh my gosh, they're great. And they come in these cute little diamond shaped little pots. Like what is not to love about these products? So now I am down to the last product, products that I love. So I add the S on there because I didn't just pick one. I just kind of wanted to show a variety of these. And that's because like, you know, you might like different colors than I do, but this product does come in options. So these are the Suva Beauty's Hydra FX liners. They actually have five of these and I only own the four. And the reason I only own the four is because one of the palettes is actually just like primaries and I have those in individual pots. And the reason I'm showing the palettes over the individual pots because you do get more bang for your buck when you get these palettes. Now these do retail for $32 each and each pat and there's like I said there's five different palettes. So each palette does contain five different liners. Now this is the UV Taffies. So they're actually UV reactive. And there's also a brush that comes with the palette. Um, as a brush, it's gonna be similar to this, just a fine liner brush. And these liners are water activated. So like I said, this one is UV Taffies. So you get pastel UV reactive liners. This one is my favorite. This is going to be the UV Grunge. So you get some nice grungy colors in here, all being UV reactive. And then this one is UV bright. So you get those like bright, bold colors. And the last one that I own is the Hydra Space. Now this one is not UV reactive, but all of these are glitter. And even the center one is a duochrome water activated liner. So I actually just got this one, I believe in the end of October, early November. It's a newer launch from them but it's beautiful. I like these palettes because they're just fun, bold. You can do your graphic liners with them. You can be artistic with them. But I personally prefer my cake liners from Suva Beauty because I have tried different brands and I find that the ones from Suva Beauty, they, they don't bleed, which is like a common problem I have with other brands. And then also the dry down is completely non-sticky. I have tried cake liners and that after I use them that my lid is still tacky and it's tacky all day. It never dries down. And I did not like that feeling. These are 
pigmented, dry down, last all day, and a little bit goes a long way with these guys. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below what your go-to eye products are. I'd love to hear them, and I definitely would love to try some of them out. But thank y'all for watching, and until next time, bye y'all. Kind of just like my basic bitch face.